taking it for a, a test drive. I'm gonna go to Home Depot. And it is about 11 miles away. Let's give it a shot. Wow, the visualizations are amazing. Okay, it has already turned on the turn now signal. turn left onto J Tree Street. And it just negotiated that stop sign with a car there. Whoa. Now turn left onto Saguaro Street. It actually knows those children are there. Wow. Now turn right out to Savannah Way. Absolutely amazing. Now turn left onto West Worthington Road. I am not turning the wheel at all. It is totally negotiating the stop sign and everything trying to figure out and then it's going all by itself unbelievable the visualizations are amazing it shows you the lines in the road okay, there's a stop sign coming up figure that out Negotiated the stop sign here, stop for the other car, and now it's going. So this is a tricky intersection now usually. Because right usually there's a lot of high speed traffic and you have to figure out who's coming. And there are cars coming from both directions and I'm on a stop sign. And oh my God, I just darted out and figured out how, how fast those cars were going and took the stop sign and made the turn. Unbelievable. I thought it would wait for those cars to go by, but it, I guess it figured out the trajectory. Okay, coming up to a green stoplight that just turn yellow and it slowed down see my foot is not near the pedal and the car is coming to a stop it knows the truck is going across maybe it knows there's a guy standing over there wow I don't know how it is on the Model 3, but on the Model S that I have, the whole display is the AI visualization. Wow, and it sees like very far away. Like, it let me know there was a car pulling up on the far right. I didn't even see it, but the visualization caught it. Again, no foot on the brake or the accelerator. And it stopped the stop sign and kept going after stopping. So now it's gonna to come to the highway overpass. And it's reading the now markings on the road. Look at that, it's making the turn itself. And it up the speed limit. So let's see how, how it does. On the highway, I noticed that the visualization changed. Now it has the map routing on the left, as well as the full self-driving visualization in the middle. So I guess it only does the full panoramic screen when you're on surface streets. 
Okay, it's about a quarter mile from my highway exit. And it is already slowing down. Which seems kind of odd. Now take exit 115 on the right. In 500 feet, turn right onto South 4th Street. This is interesting because there isn't really a lane marker here. Now turn right onto South 4th Street. Let's see what it does. Oh, the light just turned. And again, hands off. It's taking the turn. It's got to make an immediate left. Turn left onto Wake Avenue. Which it does. Oh, this now is so amazing. And it read the light, the turn light, and it's making the turn. And now it, turn left. again, taking this turn all by itself. And here we are at the Home Depot. In 500 feet, your destination will be on the left. 